Hi, my name is Don Hodges. Hi, my name is Dan Harris of the UK Wild Otter Trust. We've been campaigning for the last year to try and get the signs up in the area as the number of otters have been hit over the winter months. This is the first sign in Carmarthenshire, so this is a good start to promote the otter, also promote the area. Um, five otters were knocked down last season and it's happening from October onwards when we start getting floods and bad conditions. Uh, hopefully th these signs will make a big, big difference in promoting the area and the order. Excuse me mate, what do you think of the sign? Oh, I think it's really great. The council have actually started putting official signs up in the area. This can only be a good thing to promote the area, also the order. It's a real good news this is for the otters. It's going to promote the otters, it's going to promote the area, bring in wildlife lovers to the area, so it's going to generate more money for the area. This is a good thing the council have done. With luck we will see more otter signs warning that there's otters in the area, around the area of Carmarthenshire and the rest of the UK, as it's a nationwide problem. In excess of 200 otters are hit each year in England and Wales. Otters seem to be getting hit over the winter months, and it's normally males again hit, it's about 70% males as they get a wider territory. A sign like this can only do two things, promote the otter and promote the area. It's a good start for the Comanche area and hopefully we'll see signs like this across the UK. Especially in the winter months as it gets dark, when they're crossing roads in flooded areas and rivers. Uh, this is a particular time they actually get hit. And this is a good start, there's another sign we're going to check out and investigate. But this can only be a good thing for otters in the area to try and get signs in areas where otters have been hit in the past. Uh, but it's a nationwide problem with over 200 otters hit down each year in England and Wales. Uh, with luck, this sign will actually warn drivers and other councils will follow suit and put signs up in their areas where otters have been killed or known to travel. This is the first sign in Carmarthenshire. With luck, we will see more signs around the UK. We've been campaigning for signs in the area of Carmarthenshire and the rest of the UK for the last year as the number of otters have been hit in this area, in total in five. Uh, but we've got a nationwide problem where there's over 200 otters hit each year in road traffic accidents. Uh, hopefully, with luck, we'll see more signs in the area going up and around the rest of the UK. This can only be a good thing for the otters and the area. This is the first sign that the Carmarthenshire Council have actually put up in the area. This can be a good thing for the area, promoting the otters with the use of signs. These signs will make a difference, warning drivers that we've got otters in the area, and otters do actually cross the road. Uh, these are the first signs, they've been up about two weeks apparently. Uh, with luck we'll see more in the area, warning otters could be crossing. This is a nationwide problem. With luck, after the council have put signs up in this area, uh, other councils will follow suit and put signs in their areas where otters have been known to have been killed or if they're known to have crossed in roads and waters that there are otters in the area because most people will not see an otter unless it's too late or if it's been hit and it's on the side of the road um, this will inform drivers and it will also promote the area and promote the otter this can only be a good thing for the area and hopefully other councils will follow suit